Uh, we are in Cancun. We've already left the airport, got a ride to the island here. Uh, we are going to go to Isla Mujeres on this trip. We're going to show it to you. Right now, we are waiting for our ferry because you have to get a boat ride over to Isla Mujeres because it is an island. All right, we are on our way to the ferry. Big yellow and blue boat right there. I think it's a blue and yellow boat. Okay. Nicole got lost. See her up there? You can't miss the hair, can you? Yeah. You ready to go? I am ready to go. We're going to head to the island, which is that way. Which way? That way. We have to figure out how to get to our hotel. What's the name of it? It's the Hotel Jaguar. I guess we'll stop and look it up on our phones. Yeah. Okay, so what's they with got, like the armed forces around here? The Marines, yeah. They've, they've had some uh, issues with the cartel, so there's a lot of security. Yeah, there's another guy right there. Yeah, let's grab one of these taxis. And, uh... Oh, uh, no, thank you. I know. Just grab them? Yeah, we'll grab one. I'm just, uh, showing the, uh... Taking in the ambiance? Taking in the ambiance and showing the viewers. Letting them see what we're seeing. Right as we uh, have gotten off the ferry. Honey. I, kept reaching I was going to steal it, but it ran away from me. <laughs> I was talking to him, I kept reaching for it, and nothing's there, nothing's there, and then it's in the street. So our hotel is uh, a 12 minute walk. So we're just going to, we're just going to walk. Yeah, we're going to rent a golf cart before it's over, explore the island. And change so we can fit in. Huh? We'll, uh, yeah, this way. A little dive bar. Um, yeah. There's a dive bar right there. Might have to come back for a drink there. The island is very small. It's uh, no wider than a half a mile at its widest spot. Look guys, a cat. There he goes. Little tiny hotel here. It's not our hotel? This is not our hotel, no. There's our hotel. It's right up here. We're almost there. 
Casa del Jaguar. So this is it. This is the hotel. So we're going to check in. And um, first off, we'll show you guys the room. Gotta figure out, oh, this is where we check in this way. We are in room eight. There's only 12 rooms in this hotel. It's a little boutique hotel. I like it. So let's see what we have here. Oh, look, we've got Mexican treats. <laughs> so it's got a little uh, sitting area and then the bedroom's back here. Little refrigerator. It is a very, very cute hotel here. And let's see. Where's the lights? There, there we go. go. All right, so here's the bathroom. Oh, Two sinks, okay. And the shower with the toilet. Nice. Yeah. Let's see what the outside looks like. Yeah, I know. I wanted to check that out as well. And so you can see the water there. We are on North Beach. Isla Mujeres. And Isla Mujeres. This beach is by TripAdvisor. You know, they uh, call all the reviews from the people who review the area, the beaches of the world, to get the top beaches in the world. This is the top rated beach in Mexico. And it is one of the top 20 in the world. Gorgeous, look how pretty it is. Yeah. It's you can see all the sailboats, and the boats out off the shore here. And of course it's very blue water, turquoise blue. White sand, almost white sand beach. Yeah. And it is always full of people. We're out shopping for Nicole. Look guys. Yeah. That's a cat. That counts, right? And Nicole's trying something on. Is Nicole looking at a menu? Oh, I was looking at the, the desserts. Oh, the desserts. I don't know how to say dessert in Espanol. Darn it. Lots of folks just hanging out, having a good time. Drinking tequila. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Is she? She's cute. Now we were just walking down the road and we saw the cemetery municipal. We should go take that out. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, wow. I would guess the graves are going to be above ground. Yeah, they are. These are some tombstones. Wow. These are crazy. Wow. They it's are so crowded. I wonder if I don't. I doubt. Well, that man was buried in in 2017. So I guess are they still burying people here? Obviously so. Where are they going to fit them? I don't know. This person was buried in 1991. I, I just can't get over these um, the they're elaborate tombstones. They're beautiful. You see this in Louisiana, mm -hmm. but not to this degree. I don't think. Well, don't they have mausoleums in Louisiana? I would say so. Yeah, there are mausoleums there, and even larger. I mean, that is something. And look at that. That's like a little hacienda. <laughs> oh, you've got a Spanish word. Yay. Yeah. I can just put them right next to each other. Oh, well, it might be the same name. It might be the same family. No? That's entirely possible. Some of these families need to come in and maybe tidy this up, you know? <laughs> but they're still very beautiful. It's definitely something to see. Yeah, these are amazing. And the Catholic culture is very important down here, I assume. And you can see that in, yeah. in all these, uh, I don't know if you call them tombstones or what. But you can see that, definitely. For sure. Wow, this is something. Wait. It is beautiful, very beautiful. I was already thinking that. Look at the angels on the side. Yeah, we're in the town square. Oh, it looks like you're able to go in. Why don't, why don't we, we go in? We can go in. You guys want to see the inside? The doors are all open. 
Well, let's go see the inside of this place, shall we? It's nice, isn't it? Wow. What I got to see here. I wonder what they're doing back there. Well, they're getting ready for the busy weekend, looks like. Pretty awesome, isn't it? I admit, I don't know what this is. Looks like a young girl. Mm-hmm. Do you know what that is? Maybe she's a young angel. Somebody will, somebody will have to fill in, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know if she's a specific person. She just maybe is just a young angel. I was wondering if there was a grocery store here on the island. Here it is. <laughs> Super Aki. All right, so we're going in the grocery huh? store. So we're going in the grocery store. Well, let's get everybody a look. Okay, a look -see. So what does a grocery store in Mexico look like? It looks like? like a 1980s grocery store in, in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> Did you looks see like the checkout? Got, looks like they got a little everything, though. Yeah, we've got to remember this is here in case we need to come back and get some stuff. Okay. It's a real grocery store. Yeah, but the checkouts reminded me of 1980s U.S. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that's pretty awesome. All see? right. Now, if you're wandering around and you need to go to the restroom, they have public bathrooms. But they'll cost you $10, or 10, not $10, 10 pesos. So, uh, yeah, it's going to cost you 10 pesos to use the restroom, <laughs> which we just did. There's Nicole there. They have tons of little street vendors here. Oh, what are they cooking? What are you cooking? Chicken. What's, what is pork? It's pork? It's pork. Oh, okay. It's pork. It's pork. Oh, pork. that's awesome. Are you here tomorrow? We'll come here tomorrow and have some pork tacos. Yeah, we'll have to try it. Looks really good. Would you like to sit? Do you want That's to sit here part. or do you want to sit here? Sit right there. All right. This place is kind of snazzy looking. Yeah, it's about time you made a choice. This might be too fancy for us. We are looking at the menu, and I'm going to have ribeye chicharron on marrow. So it's crispy ribeye on grilled marrow. So I'm assuming that's the bone, right? Bone marrow, yes. Uh, served with guacamole, onion rings, and sweet esquite. Esquite day? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. And you're just having shrimp <laughs> quesadillas. I'm having shrimp quesadillas. I'm playing it safe. So you're going to have something you can have in the U.S. I'm going to have something unique to here. That's all right. Because I'm cooler than you. All right, our food is here. Uh, interesting looking plate, isn't it? So there's the beef, the ribeye. And it comes with uh, onion rings and the guacamole. And this is the bone with the bone marrow. I guess I eat the bone marrow. Uh, I'm going to have to try that. Yeah, I've never done or had that before. That's going to be interesting. And this is corn. That's interesting, too. That's, yeah, it's an interesting presentation of corn. And then you are eating... Shrimp quesadillas. Oh, shrimp quesadillas. We've never seen those before. I'm sorry. I wanted right. the black ones, but they didn't blacken them. Well, anyway. They still look good. They so, look good. Uh, so the food. Let's start with this bone marrow. Yeah. <laughs> I changed my mind about tasting it. Yeah. It, after his description. It's very interesting. What this bone marrow tastes like is. It looks like. It tastes like fat. It tastes like uh, fat that's been cooked to its almost you can liquid. See, you can see in the white in the whiteness that that looks like fat. Right? Yeah. The underneath part, the white, looks like fat. It tastes like greasy fat. I'm not sure if I care for it. It's, I'm glad I tried it. It's different. Now I can say, yeah, I've eaten bone marrow. But that's what it tastes like. It tastes like animal fat. It tastes like beef fat. Dude, you're making it, like, turn my stomach to <laughs> Yeah. Guacamole is excellent. You can tell it's fresh made. Onion rings really good. And the beef is really good. This is the bit ribeye. 
with some fresh tomatoes. This corn, I was a little nervous to try it, but I did, and I'm glad I did because it's excellent. It's really good tasting corn. It's really hot, cooked perfect, it's yummy. The only thing that uh, gives me pause is this bone marrow. I don't know if I would ever eat that again. That's definitely different. That was supposed to be the star of the plate, honey. And I tried it. I gave it a try. So your quesadillas, they taste, probably taste like quesadillas, They're don't good. they? They taste like quesadillas. They have shrimp and cheese and a couple of, couple of different veggies on the inside. You can't really see because it's all mixed up with cheese. Yeah. And Lots it, of shrimp and cheese, so they were, they were very uh, good about that. And the sauce is super hot, right? That sauce, well, I asked for a hot sauce. And they brought me, I should have known better, they brought me one that's super hot and I, yeah, after one bite of it, I had to switch back to the regular. <laughs> I see. Well, there you guys go. That's the food. All right, so here's a check. 1214 not dollars, pesos. <laughs> 75, $75.88 US. That's cool. Yeah, it's not too bad. I had a couple drinks. 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. Yes. Still uh, lots of crowds of people here. 8.43. So, hey, everybody. We'll come back and see ya. <laughs> Got a little band here. Yeah, they're playing some music. They sound pretty good. Now they got some people over here. It looks like they're looks like they're getting ready to do a show of some sort. They're all dressed up. Some there in blue. Let's go up this way. We showed you that church earlier. Went inside. Tremendo comediante, lo vimos en la zona continental, maravilloso hoy a este desfile. So lots of people here. the best seat for the show. It's the best seat we can get. Yeah. All right, uh, Isla Mujeres translates into Island of Women in Spanish. It is named this because in Mayan times, this was the location of the goddess of fertility and childbirth. And so the Mayan women would make pilgrimages to this island to ensure the healthy birth of children. Now the town, it's got a shantytown vibe to it. The island, much of it. Which adds to its charm, quite frankly. The polar opposite of Cancun. And it's still pretty inexpensive even though that is changing. I've been coming here since the 90s. It has changed a lot since then. Uh, here, let me give you a shot real quick of where I'm at, currently on the island, uh, a map. Now the island's about seven miles long, half mile wide at its widest. The bulk of the activity happens at the north end of the island which is where North Beach is. Lots of uh, low budget hotels, some expensive ones, but most of them are pretty affordable. And it's crammed full of restaurants and shops of every kind. Obviously tourism is the biggest industry here now. 
pretty interesting numbers. I got what numbers I could for the town. It's growing rapidly. Today there are about 23,000 people here. 2010 there were only 12,600. So the town's uh, what, nearly doubled in population in the past 13 years. People here don't make a lot of money though. Roughly 50% of the people who live here uh, live in moderate poverty. 8% live in extreme poverty. And you see it. Uh, you'll see homes here where it's a dirt floor, no running water, no sewage. You see it from place to place. The median income, or I'm sorry, the average income per person here is 74 hundred pesos a month that is uh, a little over four hundred dollars yeah about four hundred twenty three dollars so that's what the average person here lives on four hundred and twenty three dollars a month but everything's cheaper I mean way cheaper uh, let's see a lot of foreign investment I was reading that well, let's put it this way. A lot of foreign investment, but the money doesn't stay here. I was reading that for every dollar, 20, per, or 20 cents stays here. The other 80 cents of that dollar goes into the pockets of foreign investors. So, as you can well imagine, that creates quite a bit of income disparity. And you see it. We got a Marine or a police officer coming here, but this island is very safe. It's one of the safest places in Mexico. It's just overall safe. Um, you see women out here by themselves at night. It's not an issue. A very safe, uh, safe place to come visit. Uh, very low crime. The people here are really friendly. You know, especially to the tourists. They know who's paying their salaries, their bills, and they act accordingly. People from all over the world here. I've seen people from Asia and Europe. Uh, just tons and tons of visitors from all over the world. Here's a look at a beautiful beach on the windward side near the North Beach. It is interesting given the way the population is increasing and uh, the island is attracting new development. You do see some of this still here. Probably a hotel at one time. In an incredible location. I mean, look at the view. From those uh, rooms, if they were, you know, if it was developed, instead of just sitting there empty and rotting, Yeah, it's kind of a crazy thing, and it's big. This is a big, empty building. So you see this now and then, and it surprises me a little bit. Another thing that surprised us, or has surprised us while we're here, is that, you know, we'll go to a restaurant that was open the day before, and then the next day it's closed. And then it opens the next day, and so we go in there, and we ask them why. And the answer is, they can't get people to work. There's not enough people to fill the jobs. So I checked the unemployment rate here, and it is low, 2.7%. That is unquestionably a low unemployment rate. So, and I'm not being political here, but just a bit of musing here that you guys can discuss, and that is we all know that there are a lot of people crossing our border illegally right now, our southern border, and many of them are Spanish-speaking. So you wonder why some of them don't come here. You could pick a worse place to live, I'm thinking. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know, food for thought. What do you guys think? I do know Mexico will give people work visas. 
Uh, last I read, the unemployment across the entire country is low. So yeah, you just kind of wonder. Why not just pull up here and work if you speak Spanish? I would do that. The hotel includes breakfast, uh, beachside. So we're gonna do that right now and uh, see if it's any good. It's a beautiful morning. It's beautiful every day here, pretty much. We are looking at the menu. The the restaurant's right next to the pool. That's the hotel pool right there. And the beach. It's a small pool, but it's really nice. <laughs> nice view of the beach from here. Looks like it. Now, before they bring our eggs and the main part of our breakfast, they always bring some fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. Is that pineapple, watermelon, uh -huh. and what's the other one? Uh, looks like some kind of, some kind of melon. I don't know. Cantaloupe, right? Cantaloupe. Yeah. yeah. So, nice warm up before we start the real breakfast. Breakfast is here. I am having pancakes with over medium eggs and sausage, potato wedges, and toast. And as Joe says, I am being boring. And fresh squeezed orange juice. Sorry, I forgot about My breakfast food. looks fantastic. Nicole is having a bagel with no hole in it. She's having a bagel. Boring. It doesn't really have a hole in it. Well, it's a no hole bagel. Alright. Anyways. I think I'm just basically going to use the strawberry stuff. Mine looks really good. Nicole's looks boring, but we'll see. Let's see how it is. <laughs> My breakfast is delicious. Eggs cooked perfectly. Look at those fluffy pancakes. I'm Lots jealous. of butter melted on them. And of course I like to drown my sausage in the syrup too and eat it together. And the sausage here is good. It's hard to get good breakfast sausage in Mexico. But at this place, uh, they do have good breakfast sausage. I'm and jealous of your really, really thick um, pancakes. Part of the reason I don't get pancakes is because I don't like maple syrup. Mm -hmm. But now I'm wishing I got those really thick pancakes with some of this strawberry uh, sauce or whatever it is. Because it's strawberry Strawberry sauce. jam. Strawberry jam. Yeah, but it's not really like a jam. I had jam. Mexico, Mexico's jam is differently. Oh, okay, whatever. That's fresh made, honey. It's not all processed out of a jar. Okay, well, whatever That's the strawberry Mexico. sauce is, I wish I'd gotten that. Yeah. Because um, the bagel is more, tastes more like a roll. <laughs> bagel tastes like a roll? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, the orange juice is fantastic, by the way, fresh ah. squeezed. So anyway, yeah, my breakfast is fantastic, except I wish they had hash browns. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's fantastic. I like hash browns. I'm a, I'm old fashioned. Well, I, like I the, want hash browns. I like the strawberry stuff. All right, we have rented a golf cart, <laughs> and we're going to go show you the other end of the island. It's a lot different down there. Not quite as frenetic. Not quite as what? Frenetic. Is that a word? Frenetic? I'm sure it is, but I'm not sure what it means. It just means it's like, not quite as like, crazy. Alright, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah. So we are going to head into a little residential. Let's see what it looks like where the people uh, who work here live. All right, cool. We will see some residences. I'll slow down so I can get everybody a good look. They call them casas. Huh? They call them casas. Yes, casas. Yeah, it's like apartments. Got some little shops here and there you can see. Yeah, people just, uh... I wonder if they just sell whatever they want out of their own houses without getting any kind of permits or anything? Yeah, or you can just sell whatever you want. Yeah, you don't have to have all that 
red tape like you do in the U.S. Well, I know. I mean, it used to be that way. I don't know if it's still that way. Uh, it's still that way. Ooh, the sun's out. Yeah. so that's a shop of some kind there. That's, yeah. that's for locals Sorry. though. Yeah. I wonder why he had his boyish farts hanging out. Huh? I wonder why he had his boyish farts hanging out. I don't know. Yeah, somebody's house there. See. Bunch of houses in there. See. It's just kind of crazy how it's just everything's piled on top of one another. Yeah. Oh, there. And then all kinds of little stores here. Like somebody lives in there. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Right? Oh, At least everything's different. Yeah. You cannot blame it. Uh, you're not complaining. Yeah. You cannot blame them on having cookie cutter neighborhoods like we do in the U.S. Yeah, no cookie cutter architecture here. Heck no. Yeah, so we'll just um, look around a little bit more. I kind of like that house. I love the uh, tropical colors. Yeah, and this house too. Uh huh. Casa Cielito. That I might be a. I think you even pronounced that right. Yeah, that might be a bed and breakfast of some sort. Uh, Cochinita, or I'm not sure what's going on there. Yep, there's somebody's uh, residence in there. Yeah, pretty cool. So uh, we're going to show you some more residential here. Okay. Interesting seeing where the people live. people up up top there. Oh yeah. There's barely even a roof there. Uh, I don't believe there is. That's where or at you, least not on one side. <laughs> yeah that's where you really see the poverty. Yeah. Here. See down the street. This place here looks like a hurricane hit it. Wow. Yeah, what is going on there? Well, it looks like a junkyard, honey. Uh -huh. Like a very small junkyard as compared to what you would see in the U.S. Yeah. It's fascinating. Totally different world, isn't it? <laughs> See. Yeah, totally different world. down this little right. road here. here. This looks like a local... Here. Okay, got it. This looks like a local shopping area. This is where the people who live here come and shop. And not where the tourists come. So here she is, the Mayan goddess of childbirth. Is it a 
how do you pronounce it? Ischel? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. What are you looking at? I just know. How do you spell it? I think it's I X C H E L. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ixtel, Ix I don't know. Yeah, that's why this is called the Island of Women. It's where the Mayan women would uh, make a pilgrimage so that they could have many healthy children. Uh, this is a statue of pre-Hispanic Mayan family. So this is, uh, I guess, what a Mayan family looked like. The dad who, the warrior, the hunter, mom making the food. Interesting. I don't know. Who's in the background? Think that's grandmother? Or did he have two wives? I don't know. All good questions. Yeah, there's a lighthouse there, here on the southern tip. Let me show you on a map real quick, where we are. Very southern tip of the island. It is really beautiful here. Now look at that, isn't that something? So that's, um, that's a Mayan temple remains, or the remains of a Mayan temple, that is to say. So this is the part of the island where the rich people live. Really nice houses here. I would guess a lot of them are wealthy people's second homes. What do you think? I suppose so. And then of course, I'm sure there are wealthy people who live here. And uh, this is, this is where they live. That's really pretty, isn't it? Oh, no. Wow, look at that house. She's got a pool right there, infinity pool. Man. Yeah, that's some good living there. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go introduce myself, okay? Yeah. See the dog? Just plopped Pedro. out. Yeah, he just zonked out on the uh, sidewalk there. Look at what we saw. He's uh, not bothered by us at all. What's up, fella? He's negro y blanca. Pet him. Aww, it's nice. He likes it. Or she, it might be a she cat. You know what, I'm really bad at telling that. He just wants some attention. He's cute. He is cute. Aww. He's really nice. Or she. Actually, I think it's a she. Probably. She's yeah, it's a she. Is this your shop? It is my shop. Bob. This is your shop? Yeah, it's not my shop. Only I'm working for people. My How old are you? I am, I am 17. 17? Yeah, and I am single for the ladies. I was just going to say, if this you own the shop, you're young. You must be doing well. Yeah, man. Everybody should save me the ten. Awesome. So it's not important. It's what? It's not important. 
Yeah. Because it's all I'm working on making money. Okay. Everybody. So you get some money to take out the girls? Yeah, man. Absolutely. <laughs> you have the money, you have the cross. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Viva Mexico. I think he's a lawman. Well, I don't know. He's got a star on his belt. You think it's a lawman? Maybe. Drinking some tequila and uh, smoking a doobie? Yeah, lawmen can do that. Down here in Mexico. Yeah, probably. Actually, uh, you're probably right. <laughs> For dinner tonight, we're going to eat at the Garden Grill. Here. It's just about five o'clock, so it's pretty quiet right now. But uh, it's kind of a beautiful restaurant. There's Nicole. What? No, you're just looking at the menu. We are in Mexico, so what does that mean? I guess we do have to do a shot of tequila. Time for tequila. So we're having some Herradura, Anejo. Ooh! Yeah, that'll warm us up before we eat. <laughs> this is our appetizer. It is coconut shrimp. Mm, and you can see they grilled the, co uh, the pineapple. Yeah, and cut out pineapple. Mm. With a, that's a pineapple glaze of some sort to dip it yeah, in. Yeah, it's, like a it's a pineapple sauce. You can see all the chunks of pineapple in it. Yeah, you can see chunks of pineapple in it. Yeah. It's yummy. It does look good. Yeah, yes. so uh, there it is. Mm. You can gonna... smell this. Smell the, the fried pineapple. You can smell the good. what? I can smell the cooked pineapple. And it smells really good. Yeah, I can smell the pineapple and the coconut. It smells really good. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna dig in and see if this is any good. Well, what do you think, hun? Oh my goodness! Uh, like I was saying to the waiter, uh, the shrimp are great, but I've had coconut shrimp before. It's the sauce that's amazing. It's pineapple and lots of coconut. You can tell there's lots of coconut milk in there. So, so good. I love anything with fresh coconut milk. Yummy. And did you try a bite of the actual... I'm trying. I'm trying it because I want some of this, like, you know, that I can tell that's been cooked. So I'm having a hard time here. Yeah, they... I'm going to get to it, though. I'm getting there. They took a little torch and uh, cooked the pineapple. Mm -hmm. And you had yes. a little bite there. It was pretty good, right? So I... Well, yeah, yeah, it definitely was. But I really want to try this caramel, where you can see that it's really caramelized. I yeah. really want to try that. Yeah. I'm digging my way through there. All right, our food is here. You've got shrimp fajitas, right? Uh, they were just seafood, seafood yeah. fajitas. Honey, he's asking you. Yeah, good. That's my steak. He's cutting it for me table side. That is a big steak. They just told me there's shrimp and then fish fillet. I don't know what the other, I don't know what the other fish is. Okay. And then of course there's like onions and peppers and all that good stuff that you get in fajitas. Buried under the cheese. Yes, Sir, I didn't know about like the cheese. Like a bottle of garlic yes. and rosemary. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. So he's cut my steak and he's put it on a uh, skillet. skillet that's uh, really hot. Oh, a little piece of sausage there. Yeah. Wow, it's kind of like being in a Brazilian place a little bit. Oh yeah. Wow. That's that is awesome. that is quite a presentation. I'm gonna have to have a bite of that. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Salt and oh. pepper. No bites for you. You're gonna have to tell. You're gonna have to tell him how much. That's good. And he's got the assistant carrying off the. Uh, superheated plate. Very fancy. It is. I feel like I'm in fine dining. Thank you, sir. Looks amazing. Yeah, it does look amazing. Yeah, so there's my ribeye. Wow. Smells good? Yeah. Smells awesome. Yeah, that steak smells amazing. Looks really good. Yep. <laughs> wow, what a meal, huh? The shrimp and yeah. your fajitas. Hmm. Yes. Lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. <laughs> More than I expected. Well, let's see if it's good, though. Right. Might be good. And we're waiting on one more shot of tequila. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. For your much better with that steak, you open it 
<laughs> Thank you, sir. Everything's better with tequila? Yeah. Everything is better with tequila, yes. <laughs> well, what do we think of the food? The baked potato is awesome. The sausage is good. It's kind of odd to have a little sausage here next to this humongous steak, yes. which is fantastic. Very good. I tried it. I tried it before he did. <laughs> yeah, this steak is awesome. It's a lot, too. Yeah. A lot to eat. Too much. And your fajitas. fajitas. They're good. Again, they're cheesier than I thought, but they're still very good. Um, yeah, I mean, it has the peppers, the onions that you would expect. It's got shrimp, camarones, and uh, the fish that I still don't know the name of, um, which was very good. And then, of course, you get your you get your tortillas to, to fill them in with all that good stuff. And then guacamole, which I'm the only person in the U.S. who doesn't like guacamole. I'm sorry. And then the sauce, and I forget the name of that as well. I'm so sorry. Like they, a, they, oh, they called it a drunk man's sauce or something. Yeah, drunken sauce. Yeah, drunken it's sauce. It's a green sauce. Yes. So, very good. All right, guys. Here's the tab. 2,165... Pesos. Oh, thank God. We can yeah. afford that. Comes out to $120 US. Pretty expensive, but uh, it was good food. So we're sitting in the bar at the Grill Garden, right? Grill Garden, yes. yes. Grill Garden. So, and Fernando's going to do some flair for us. Let's see it. Uh, okay, just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Just like what you did. Woo! <laughs> Nice. That's okay. It's still, it's still really good. It's still really good. That is awesome. Fantastic. You really. You are really good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yay! See, that's the kind of things you used to do way back in the day. <laughs> nice job, Fernando. Thank, Thank you. Oh, you did a great job. <laughs> my, that's how I met my wife. Wow, long, long time ago. Long time Haven't ago. they all met their wives at the bar? Yeah. I met her at the, I met her at the bar. Oh, the bar as well. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. work together. Yeah, watch the traffic. Watch out! Don't get run over. Yeah, I know. Don't want to get run over by a golf cart. Two doggies. This is someone's house. Look at all the stuff here. Yeah, that's someone's house. Wow. Very You just look right in. But what's cool is all this light and stuff that they have. It's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, nothing. Yeah, someone else's house. I know, I saw this earlier. Yeah. Oh, well, they have. A big deck. You see a lot of this outside of people's homes. Guys yeah, cooking street food. This is mostly for the locals here. But there are some tourists as well. Is this, uh, is, is this your dad? <laughs> is this your dad here? Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, he's he's the salesman? Okay. Are you the salesman? Yes. The You're the salesman and he's the cook? Yes. So are these the best tacos? Of course he's going to say that. No, he's not going to say that. They, they are the best tacos. Yeah, so those look really good. They smell awesome. 
Perfect. Yes. Excellent. Lots of onion. Cebollas. Huh? Perfect. Thank you. Gracias. Yeah, a little uh, pico de gallo salsa. Do them up. Do you take the money? Give you the money? Yeah. Those look really awesome. All right. Gracias. Keep it. A little bit, yeah. Thank you, sir. Hmm? Yeah, those are going to be good. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Woo! Those are hot. Really good. You gonna try one? Uh -uh. Mm. Yeah, I've been coming to Mexico since the beef? 90s, and I always get tacos from these taco stands. Is it beef or pork? It's beef. Good. And they are the best tacos. And uh, you know, you go to restaurants in the United States, and they'll advertise street tacos, and that's basically what they're emulating. What I just showed you guys. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's not they're, the same. <laughs> they're, well, they're usually sometimes pretty good, but these are fantastic. So, uh, Roby, do you like working here? Yeah, I work here. I'm Rami Nesmiu. We are in Isla Mujeres, Oceanos Beach Club with Lily. Is, is Lily the boss? Lily is the, the boss. Yeah. The you're the boss, boss. Lily? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a really good Because <laughs> you seem like you're in charge. <laughs> you're telling these guys what to do. Huh? We are the bartenders. We do you guys are, like uh, living here? Yeah, we live here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You like live here? Five love here? Oh, Argentina, right? No, I'm from Venezuela. Venezuela, right. Okay, that's right. So you're Venezuela. Were you born here? I live here. Were you born here? No, I'm not born here. I'm born in Argentina, Buenos Aires. You're the one from Argentina. I yes. knew one of you guys were. Okay. I'm from Argentina. He's from Argentina. And he's from Argentina as well. From where? Argentina as well. Wow. Yeah. So none of you guys are even born here. No. Y'all came here to work. Sorry? Y'all came here to work and Yeah, yeah, so good. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Uh, the office is so beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, you can't uh, you can't beat it. Yeah. It's a beautiful uh, scenery. Yeah, we love it. I think. Do you like this hotel? Does it that yeah, the take good care of you? Good. It's Casa Hawar. Do you like the order? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's Probably come back here again. Sure. Probably nice. a couple months maybe. So. Yeah, it's it's uh, comfortable and it's close for families, not so much people. And yeah. They, I think the restaurant is, I don't know, you like the food here? Yes, very good. And drink? Yes. Wrong with coke? Every day? Roby's been making many of my drinks. He's a, he's a great bartender. <laughs> and serves a lots of food. And Lily's been making them too. She's awesome. <laughs> yes. All right, everyone, so that's the end of this video. We had a great time here. It's one of, if not our favorite place to visit in Mexico. We had a blissful time. Yeah, it's a great vacation. You can come here and spend a lot of money. You can come here and not spend hardly any. <laughs> and still have a, or any money, yeah, and still have a great time. Yep. Uh, accommodations are cheap. Uh, you can get cheap food, and it tastes delicious, fresh made. I mean, everything's just awesome. People are, people are friendly, beautiful weather, incredible weather. Yes, definitely. Beautiful beaches. It's just amazing. It's an amazing place to visit. And uh, lots of culture, stuff to soak up. Great, you know, like I said, great people. Anyway, so uh, we will be heading into the deep south for a little bit. Uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. You know, we're trying to stay out of the cold weather. Oh, please. And then after that, we've got Hawaii coming up, and then we'll be heading out west and north. Hawaii? Yeah, California, Northern California, uh, Eastern Oregon, and Washington. Of course, Idaho and Montana after that. So that's all coming up. We will see you guys then.